Welcome to the channel all about economic board games. I've got an older game today for you and I'm bringing you an overview of Big Shot. What a quirky name for a game that is. And it's brought to you by the designer at the bottom here and by these guys as well. Now this one plays two to four, probably about 45 minutes I'd say is accurate. And it's a kind of light area control auction game where we are entrepreneurs trying to take advantage of the property in the 1920s you've got all these different properties you can see the money you're going to be making if you have area control over one of these plots of land you've got multipliers as well if you control this and one of these you're going to be multiplying say this one by two so it'll be 18 points now at the beginning of the game you are going to distribute all these different areas of random four cubes you have to make sure there's at least two different types of colors you're going to be placing this out randomly as well on any single one and then you distribute the color of the companies you are so you don't sort of know where they're going to end up so you can see we've got credit dollar helmet co-house there's some funny names on these but yeah basically they are the colors you got 10 million bucks to start off with now the first player will roll the dice so let's just say blacks the first roll the dice you then move this token around so you go one two three four five if there was any of these lots that were empty you'd skip over and continue the count you then then pass this clockwise so that would go to the red player and they're going to be starting off the auction so they're auctioning off this lot up here so what have we got we've got four cubes on there we've got one of each black yellow white and red and those cubes correlate to the influence of the colors so each one of these companies matching color and they're starting the bid off let's say they're going to go one million next player clockwise goes you know what i'm passing on that yellows goes two million black goes three million everyone else ends up passing and black pays their money so three million which goes over to the bank here and they then get to take these four cubes and distribute them now remember this is influence for in this case all the players so they get to distribute that across the board in any manner they wish now you can only have a maximum of seven cubes on one of these lots so they're thinking right i'm black they're going to put themselves in probably one of the most valuable positions let's say they're going to go for this sort of industry spot here of 18 and they're going to dump all these three off over here say in the times two you would then roll the dice this player rolls the dice they got a five so we move it up here one two three four five and you pass the dice on and the reason you do that is because it reminds you that this player is starting the auction so white players looking at this auction now and they're thinking right do I want to take control of that? There's two reds, a yellow, and one of their own. So they're going to bid one. And yellows is up next. They're like, right, I really want this one for some reason. They're going four million. Black passes, red passes, white goes, I'm sticking in it. Five million, six million. And then white saying pass. They could try and bid them up sneakily. Yellow gets it for six million. Pay that to the bank. And again, you grab these four tokens. Now, yellows have got one of their own. They weren't too happy with being placed in this multiplier two, but maybe they're going to try and take advantage of it and go for this school here and put a yellow there. And these reds and whites, well, let's see where they could go. Maybe they're just going to check them over here. So you could be sneaky, pop them wherever you want. Now, I'm going to skip ahead slightly because otherwise I'll be playing the entirety of the game. But essentially, you're going to notice, I'm just going to grab a couple from the side, that once you get close to that 7 marker, so let's just assume this is the case here in 11, you can see that obviously 4, 4 more is going to take the win for the area control because it's there's only 7 there and no one else is going to be able to take it. So eventually they get 4, they're going to... Once seven are actually here, you wouldn't do it straight away because there's still strategy in terms of dumping off cubes there. And let's just assume this was the case. So we've got two, four, six, seven. Yellows have got the majority. They take one of these sold signs, pop a yellow token on it, get rid of all the others. And that shows that at the end of the game, yellow have acquired this property and it's worth 11 points. If they did manage to secure this, let's say the game ends and there was only one yellow there, uh, once all the 18 sort of auctions have took place then these guys that just happen to be the majority they'd also get a sold symbol which is very unlikely and then you can see 
the multiplier would be 22 points for this one now if you didn't have this one this is worth nothing it's just a, a times two so you keep going now there's some interesting scenarios where for example let's just say in this 10 here red's got three white's got three and yellow managed to sneak one on what would happen is at the end or or whenever seven the limit is reached if there's a tie so red and white have got a tie here they would sort of take each other off they've taken each other out of the the, the competition for it and yellow remains with just the one cube so they would secure the property uh, you've also got situations where let's just say yellow did have majority here of four and people are like right you know what they've won it anyway and if i win this auction up here and it wasn't yellow let's say it was white player they might you know continue to dump yellows at, at, um influence in there because they know they've won it anyway and it stops them from getting influence on potential other real estate properties and then white decides to do a mixture of those so there's some interesting players to trying to win these auctions um, and where you're going to place the tokens and sort of get sneaky ways of winning these these lots now if you do run out of money let's say these guys they've got say free money you can take loans and they'll get you get um weirdly they're, they're, they're 10 million but this is what you're going to pay back at the end but you get nine million straight away because effectively the game's saying you've got to pay for your interest up front so to get nine million for their first one you can only have one per round and then the next loan they take they get eight million and seven six and so on but at the end of the game you're gonna to have to pay off 10 million for each loan so once all the auctions have gone through you then figure out the remaining area control so again it might be like there was only the one cube on here and as you go throughout the game you'd have secured the areas based on the seven cubes you then add up all the the money you've attained from those real estates so let's just say 16 the 11 times the 2 is 22 you add up all that you add up any money remaining in your hand so yellow in that case and then you deduct the 10 million per loan and then whoever has the most money is the winner now this game i'd highly recommend with a higher player count there is variations for two free but with four player it's excellent and it's really straightforward lightweight you just got these areas but some interesting decision as to how much you're going to bid are you are you really going to go well this wouldn't be the case they'd be off but are you do you really does red really Really want this one or sometimes red's thinking you know what someone else i'll bid them up but i don't actually want it even though it's got your influence on it you don't mind other people sort of placing your your tokens and influence out on the board only at specific times though so say for example this was the case three four six well let's just take a couple off you know if yellow won this they're like well i've won this one anyway i'm just going to chuck red's cubes in here because they're never going to win it and it saves them get another thing so whereas if that was full already let's just say it had already been predetermined and there's a sold sign there uh reds wouldn't mind being distributed because there's nowhere they could maybe to be dumped off so that player's like right i have to sort of put them somewhere and it's kind of making the move for that player anyway so it's about being really tactical over when you spend your money in the bidding and how you locate that influence across the board now if you're after a playthrough stick around for next week and i'll bring you a playthrough of this game there we are folks enjoy